is my pleasure to welcome you at the European Parliament for this meeting of the Interinstitutional Committee on Informatics, an important forum to exchange and jointly shape the ICT ecosystem of tomorrow for our institutions. Technological progress never stops and we need to continue investing in ideas and projects that can help us by be effective and efficient, but also act in a secure environment. This is essential to carry forward our political work because we need to connect mobile and secured. We need to continue to build up innovation capacity. We cannot just continue as we have always been doing in the past. That means we need to be more efficient in the way we use our resources. We need to establish new communication tools and we need to empower our citizens. The answer to many of those challenges is in effect in the area of IT. Resource efficiency, replacing standard procedures, replacing manual work is very much going through uh, IT instruments. In my idea is certainly the European Parliament because we are Parliament, but uh, in my idea is uh, uh, do not lose uh, the contribution of all the other uh, uh, European Union institutions in this, even only, only, I'm not speaking resources, but only on the basis of uh, experience and expertise. Not, uh, uh, I, we will take responsibility also for resources because we are a parliament, but I very much would like uh, to be the bridge with all of you uh, in order to have uh, more positive input. So, the CB, you will understand, is the uh, highest level coordination body of the uh, United Nations system. There's nothing above the CB to develop common positions, common views, and common lines of action towards a number of different directions. We have 193 member states and we have more than 450 duty stations in which we operate. So it's a very highly fragmented uh, delivery model and we have to use technology to bring this model and this service de delivery in a, at a global point of view. It changed a lot without changing anything, if I may go to this extreme, in the sense that uh, uh, it managed to reduce the cost of publication, it managed to reduce the time of delivery, it managed to reduce the, uh, the, 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 the physical reach because you could reach document anywhere, anytime. But actually, from the point of view the, for information producer, there was no change. And so that was, was successful. It, it was cost effective and it didn't require any change management within uh, uh, the organization. Our Comantoso is uh, a, 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 a standard, a semantic standard for parliamentary and normative document that identify the significant part in a document. Essentially, the proposed centre is a platform for parliaments to share good practices in the use of digital tools and services in different areas, openness, citizen engagement. Um, let's create a, a, a virtual environment for collaboration between parliaments. We'll call this an interparliamentary cloud. We know that a number of parliaments are uh, using, uh, are publishing open data. Let's find a way to to connect these different uh, initiatives so that the parliamentary data can be available through, uh, through a common platform. I 
I would like to confirm that uh, the European Parliament is uh, uh, very, very much uh, uh, involved and uh, interested and willing uh, to uh, participate uh, in, uh, in this project.